Good morning, good afternoon, folks. Welcome to this information session for the TAPS Volleyball 2022 Final Four. I am joined today in the TAPS office with Brian Bunzelmeyer, TAPS Executive Director, Robert Huckabee, TAPS Associate Director and Director of Compliance, and Will Dixon from the TAPS office stack is, uh, staff is helping us out behind the keyboard. This webinar is being presented on our YouTube page. That's youtube.com slash tapsbiz so that this information can be easily shared with anybody on your campus who needs to see it. Uh, you can find it on our YouTube page or under the resources tab on the TAPS website. That's tapsbiz. Is. With that, I'm going to hand it over to Brian so we can get started. Thank you, John. I appreciate that introduction. Thank you to everybody listening to the webinar today. We are doing this a little different. Usually this would be a live call, but we will be on the road at fall soccer and delivering a few one-act play set pieces, so that will not be possible next week. That way we're going to do a recorded Final Four call. Congratulations to everyone for a great season, and congratulations to those making it to the regional round. We look forward to seeing the victors this weekend at the talk, uh, volleyball championships. All right, again, congratulations to all the teams still in the playoffs. We look forward to seeing those that advance. Again, this is informational webinar is in lieu of the normal conference call. Thank you, Brian. First thing, immediate ASAP, please, please, please. We need your roster and team photo. This is an annual drill for our Final Four and Championships. We put together a digital program. We also need this information for all of our announcers for the presentation of our awards. So please follow those instructions there of how to do your game roster. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory there. And then we need you to send a team photo to info at taps.biz. And please, for Kelly, Kelly Bay in our office manages all that for us, does a uh, an amazing job. She does it on a very short fuse of time. So please assist as as you can uh, ASAP. Get that to us. If you have any questions, reach out to our office. Kelly can assist you with that. We're going to be returning to Central Texas this year. West is not available, so we'll be at Robinson High School. Robinson High School is located in Robinson, Texas, just southeast of Waco. In fact, it's actually closer to University High than West ever dreamed of being. University High will be our other host facility. The schedule is posted on the website. It's also posted in the brackets. But as you can see, semifinals will begin for 1A, 2A on Wednesday in Robinson High School. 4A, 5A will follow them at Robinson, followed by 6a all of our championships will be held at university high school so semifinals may be at two different places at the end of the day both teams will play in the same facility we've had to change our time schedules a little bit especially on friday and uh, to make sure that we uh, help and coordinate with our host facilities we always appreciate the good fine folks in waco for taking care of us so want to make sure we do all we can to be able to come back next year robert talk to us a little bit about the game itineraries Okay, if you'll look at this sample game itinerary that we've provided for you here, uh, what we ask you to do for all your semifinal and championship games, uh, please arrive no earlier than about an hour and a half prior to the game. You can drop your team off there. Teams can check in. We'll have people who will meet you, uh, the coaches and the teams, get you your coach's packet of information, get you to your locker rooms, get you situated for your game. Uh, but we will be running a tight schedule on all days, all gyms. So please honor those times for us if you could. Certainly if you come early to watch another game, a previous game, or stay after to watch a game, you're welcome to do that. Your coach and your team coming in together would be admitted for free, and you could come watch those games. But as far as preparation for your game and expectation of having access to the auxiliary gym and the locker room, let's stay to these time frames as best we can. About 45 minutes prior to your game, depending on the uh, completion of a previous game, uh, warm-up will be available on the game court. We will have our game administrator meeting at that time. We'll talk more about game administrators here in just a second. And about 20 minutes prior to the game time, we'll start your 5-5-2 traditional warm-up. Officials will be there ready to go, and then we'll conclude that. Five minutes before the game, we'll do our pregame announcements. We'll have prayer that will be provided by the home team and national anthem them if you have someone to do that and then we'll start our game at the conclusion of our game immediately after the game both teams will line up and we'll do our awards presentation at that time 
Brian, well, talk to us about game administrators. Before we jump into that, Robert, a couple of things that come to my mind on that itinerary is we are still on I-35. Waco's done a lot of good in uh, redesigning some of the freeway there, but it's still on I-35. Allow yourselves plenty of time for travel. Uh, that always seems to come up. And, again, it's hard, we know. Uh, if you're the victor, uh, you want to celebrate immediately after the last touch. If you're the loser, you want to get to the locker room sometimes. But the idea here is once we finish the game, we do the final handshake, then the teams will report back to the free throw line extended so we can get our awards presentation underway. Coaches, we appreciate everything you can do to help us with that. We'll go ahead and bounce down one more from game administrators. We will need a game administrator from both teams. Can't be a coach that's involved in coaching on the court. You're there to help the fans. You're there to help us as we move through. So, again, we need that game administrator there when the fans and team arrived don't come late we need to meet with the taps representatives we will have a brief meeting of what our expectations are nothing different than what we've done in the past but look forward to seeing our game administrators there to help with the teams the coaches the auxiliary groups your fans uh, especially if we've got the cheerleaders in there helping us get them where they can and can't be uh, with the uh, two sides of the gym and then awards and photos etc so game administrator very very important part of what we do uh, always good to have have those folks on hand to help us as we go forward robert thank you brian let's jump through some game details right quick uh, we have designated a home and visiting team uh, as brian mentioned normally we'd be doing a conference call we'd flip all those home and visitors during that call won't have the ability to do that so what we've done here in the taps office we've taken a coin and we flipped it uh, and we have determined that for all semifinal games the top team in the bracket so if you're the top team in your bracket uh, whichever side of the bracket you're on. Top team is the home team for our semifinal games. Home team, as a reminder, will provide the prayer, will provide the national anthem if you have someone from your school that can do that. And then for our championship games the following day, as soon as that second semifinal game is over, we'll grab both coaches. We'll flip that coin for home and visitor for all of our championship games. So keep that in mind as you look through that bracket. Uh, top team, top team in the bracket will be the home team for those semifinal games. Another game detail, officials, uh, TAPS contracts, uh, all of our officials through TASSO. TASSO uh, assigns those officials. Those are assigned from various chapters around the state, and there will be a TASSO evaluator at each of our gyms. Our official ball is the Baden Perfection. That's the ball you have been using throughout the year. Uh, game details with regard to game balls and warm-up balls. TAPS will provide the Baden official game ball for all of our matches, so you don't have to worry about that. TAPS will also provide warm-up balls for our game court. So when you come onto the game court, uh, you don't need to bring your warm-up balls. TAPS will provide all warm-up balls. TAPS will provide all game balls. But if you want to do some warm-up in the auxiliary gym, which will be available at both sites, please bring your own warm-up balls for that. Uh, but keep those there uh, in the auxiliary gym. Don't bring them into uh, the, uh, the game court because we'll have all of our balls there provided for you there. As we look forward, we're going to move on. We will have medical trainers. We will have athletic trainers provided by Children's Health Andrews Institute. They're here to supplement your trainers or be the trainer if you don't have one available. We look forward to having Larry and his crew there at both sites. We will have, uh, like I said, athletic trainers on both sites to assist if we need them. Uh, again, the other side that will come down. Uh, on that will be if you have someone that you know will need trouble in advance, uh, please make sure whenever your game administrator or coach gets there, if you've got someone that's nursing an injury or whatever, let Larry and the crew know exactly what's going on so they can be prepared as well. Well, let's jump down to awards real quick. It's uh, same awards we've done. We'll do a final four plaque and medals immediately after the semifinal games like Robert talked about. And after the championship games, we'll, nominate, we'll uh, select and, and present the all-tournament teams, the runner-up awards, and the champion awards. So again, we got a lot of a lot of medals going to go out. We look forward to that opportunity. Well, let's talk about media and what we will have. We will have. I'm going to start from the bottom. Taps photos. Taps photo photographers will be at all the championship contests. 
based on the fact that we have fall soccer, the Big 12 has some soccer going on, and one act play, we will not be able to cover the semifinal games this year, but we will cover all championship contests. Then we will have TAPS TV, our live stream broadcast, and that will be available through the TAPS website. We'll go there in just a second. Media access. This is for your school. Each school is allowed a maximum of two media representatives. You can have two camera folks on the floor. You could have a videographer on the floor. Videographers and camera folks do not need to be intermixed with your bench. Sometimes that gets confused with being a coach or an adult, so we need to make sure that they are in the areas that are designated. So when you get there during the game administrator meeting, we'll tell you where folks can and can't be. Both of these uh, gyms have pretty wide runoff rooms uh, to the uh, to the backside, so I think we'll be fine with getting folks. You just can't be on the end line. Can't be on the end line extended, uh, and I think we'll go. There will be a media, uh, if you know that you're going to bring folks, there will be a media form. We'll include that in the email. It'll be there for you to fill out. Tell us how many folks are coming and what you anticipate. Will do me a favor real quick. Let's bounce over to the TAPS website. If you go to the TAPS website, www.taps.biz for your fans, there is uh, the live stream button. is TAPS TV way down there on the bottom. It's the little shield icon. Click on that. It'll take you to the matches as they are up there. So right now we have fall soccer, but we'll have to scroll down just a hair. Uh, all the volleyball matches will start coming up right in there as we go forward. So TAPS TV, that's the opportunity for live stream. Uh, if possible, we will also use TAPS radio, that little radio microphone icon down there on the right-hand side will get you to the two gyms, and away we will go with that. We will also have a fan info packet ready to go. Uh, once we get through and get a little closer, we'll send that with the email as well. So we look forward to having folks there. We look forward to the folks you're leaving back at the house to be able to watch and do that as well. We'll click on TAPS Tickets. It's right there off the homepage for all your fans. Make sure they know to go to TAPS Tickets. We are digitally ticketing this event. There will be no cash accepted at the gate, so make sure that they go through TAPS Tickets. They can purchase some through uh, TAPS Tickets on site, but no cash accepted at that point. Free admission. Mission again will be the TAPS passes. It's a little card with the QR code. Each school got 10 of those. Once we get to the number 10, we're done. But you can also get in uh, for the Texas High School Athletic Directors, Texas High School Coaches, or with your Texas Girls Coaches. Once again, district and school passes will not be accepted to gain entrance into the contest. Will, let's bounce back. Robert's going to talk to us a little bit about auxiliary groups. Thank you, Brian. Hey, before we go there, while we're on tickets, if your school is bringing a fan bus, if you're going to bring about 50 kids and you want to pay that as a school, um, just uh, let us know in advance. Drop us an email. We can accommodate you on that, uh, and we can invoice your school directly. That way, when you're coming into uh, into the, the match and into the gym, a lot of times those fan buses arrive there just a few minutes before the start of the game. We can go and get you in quickly, and we can build the school for all of those. Uh, and our gate personnel have done that before. They're equipped to be able to handle that. So that's just something we can do to help you out a little bit if you uh, – if you are bringing a fan bus, uh, let us know and we can help accommodate you on that. Let's talk about auxiliary groups. Uh, if you bring cheerleaders, dance team, any student group under your supervision, band drum line, any of those auxiliary group, groups that we would see at our championship games, um, we'll help. We'll get with the game administrators at each gym and coordinate for you where those can and cannot be and when they can and cannot perform. Um, volleyball doesn't lend itself to halftime performances like some of our other activities do, uh, but we certainly encourage you to bring everybody you can uh, to the games uh, and uh, we'll help you get those particular groups situated where they belong and make sure we're good to go. Fans and fan behavior. Please remind your fans about the following TAPS and host facility rules. Like Brian mentioned, we have great host facilities. We want to honor their facility and their rules as well. No spectators before, during, or after are allowed on the gym floor. Uh, that's where game administrators will help us tremendously. No banners or signs can be attached to the facility. Uh, I know a lot of people bring the big signs with a, uh, a photo or a picture of some of the players, and certainly you're welcome to do that, uh, but you can't attach them to the facility. And then our list of prohibited activities in Section 138 
this is just a few of them no animals no body or face paint and then no noise makers this will be inside a gym so inside gyms and field houses no artificial noise makers are allowed come cheer be loud cheer for your team uh, but leave all those other things at home and as i mentioned uh, this is one of the main things that the game administrators will assist us with uh, when needed throughout the game the last thing, reminder, our all-state volleyball selection meeting uh, will be the following Tuesday. It'll be Tuesday on November 15th at 10 a.m. That's held once again in the Bellmead Civic Center. That address is there for you. Each district must be represented, provide stats and information on your players. So as you're preparing for the Final Four and the championship, keep that in mind. And then players will be nominated in the order they were submitted at the district level and provided to the TAPS office. We'll have more information coming out in emails about that. Just wanted to remind you that that is on the radar. It happens pretty quickly after our championships. Brian? Robert, before we wrap up, one thing that comes up every year is locker rooms both before and after the match. So remember, you will have the same locker room available to you after you finish playing to go back to. So we do not need to bring every bag and everything, uh, pillow, blanket, <laughs> everything else to the bench because we are moving bench to bench this year so unless it's something you need they need to leave their backpacks their bags and all the other stuff back in the locker room so that we make that transition so i don't know that we'd said that already we just wanted to make sure we we will be moving uh at the conclusion of each set we will be transferring sides so make sure you leave what needs to be left in the locker room in the locker room again www.taps.biz click on athletics you'll go to the volleyball page there'll be information information there info info at taps.biz is our email or you can give us a call at 254-947-9268 www.taps.biz info at taps.biz and the phone 254-947-9268 we've had a great year so far and we look forward to a great final four and championship week for volleyball 2022 john fill us in with the social media or whatever we missed and take us on out of here Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Robert and Will. Uh, folks, for uh, social media, um, follow our volleyball account on Twitter. That's at Taps Volleyball. We're going to have matchup graphics. We're going to have links to streams. We're going to have uh, score updates. We're going to have awards graphics. All of that stuff is there. Uh, it's a great resource for your fans and for your families. Uh, it's an easy, easy one place, uh, something for you to retweet on a school account so that uh, people joining us will be able to see where they can get tickets or where they can watch the game online and where they can get photos afterwards. Uh, thank you, folks, and we will see you next week.